Good morning. How is everybody? Welcome to I'm Bass fantastic. Now Radio. How are you? I'm great. What's good? I'm great. So it's Thursday. We're recording on a Thursday morning, October the third. I can't believe it's October already. Uh, yeah. Well, that's what happened. Um, By the way, this is Bass Now Radio. I said that. Oh, I'm this sorry. This is Bass Now Radio. I am hungry. For those who don't know, <laughs> my name is Lewis. His name is Andrew. Also known as Hungry. Also known as Hungry. <laughs> and we're going to talk to you about squirrel hunting. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Uh, we have a we don't have a ton to talk about today, so we're kind of just throwing this thing together. Um, there, not much happened in the college series. No, no, not much college stuff happened. Um, we're going to start off talking about what's coming up with our weekend. Uh, we got the open schedule that came out. Hours after our podcast literally recorded last hours. week, literally maybe like, two hours. Yeah, yeah. Like I literally looked at my it computer after recording, it always and it was up. But uh, it tough. wasn't the college it's series. Tough. It wasn't the college series like we anticipated. We hope you enjoyed last week's episode. We had a good time with that. It was a lot of fun. Um. So yeah, we're gonna talk about the pro series a little bit. We're gonna talk about the opens that came out. Uh, talk about our weekend coming up. What we have planned for the weekend. Yeah, we got some. We have some fun stuff planned for this week. weekend. Um, that'd be cool. Yeah, that'd be cool. So that's, that's it. No, nothing crazy. Just a little. So so this weekend, literally in less than twenty hours. Yeah, for me especially. Me, I'm a little longer. Yeah, this guy over here is getting an Ultrax. I ordered an Ultrax, so he's got a delay our trip or his trip not delaying my trip thank you min carter for getting to me at a much higher rate Shout out of Bill speed Carson. than i yeah. was predicting yeah y'all came through i'm gonna have it for as this always. weekend and i'm pumped yeah <laughs> um what was i gonna say so yeah we're going to lake hartwell yeah um, we have so november 1st is the flw last college tournament for us of the year um, Lake we Hartwell. have to qualify for an flw national championship there. yeah i personally have never been to hartwell um this will be my opportunity to qualify for flw as well as yours um i've both, been to hartwell before we both fished seminole this year for the mm -hmm. flw series i fished gunnersville i skipped gunnersville and uh we're all coming together for hartsville hartsville yeah we're gonna have the unc is gonna have a lot of boats yeah we're, we're gonna, gonna have like a lot of boats at the practice we're gonna have a lot of boats practice, at the so. tournament we're probably gonna have eight or nine boats at the tournament yeah. maybe ten um, we're gonna, I'm gonna have, say eight or nine. Yeah, we're gonna have six or seven this weekend. So we came up with the idea this our this upcoming weekend is our fall break at UNC Charlotte. Um, Perfect timing. And since we all have no lives and no families, we're just gonna go fishing for all five days. Yay! Um, we're gonna go down to Hartwell. We got a big Airbnb. We got a bunch of people, and, and we're uh, gonna go try and figure this little lake yeah, out. We're gonna figure it a little pre practice. You know, it doesn't. It's not the biggest. Uh, it's it's not at all honestly a, a key as to what's going to happen in a month, but for guys like myself who haven't been to the lake, I kind of want to see it, feeling it out. Yeah, get get a good view of it all. So uh, um, the, also while we're there, we're, we're going to do something special for yes. next week's podcast episode. Yes, we're well, gonna we're gonna record on Monday night. I are believe. we gonna record two different episodes? Are we gonna record the episode of the weekend and then at the end of the week for the normal episode? Or are we thinking just one episode? I think just one episode. Let's see what news comes out. We'll see. Let's see we'll what, see news, what, we'll comes see what news comes out. Yeah. But anyway, so we're going to do, essentially what we're going to do is the last day that we're there. Uh, we got a couple of guys. that We're we, going Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, leaving Tuesday. Tuesday, yeah. yeah. So Monday night, yep. um, we're going to record, essentially, we're calling it Bass Talks, right? Bass <laughs> Talk. Bass Real Talk. Bass Real Talk, yeah. <laughs> It's going to be That's real be talk. A, a bunch of the UNC Charlotte guys just kind of like hanging around. Probably be like four or five by the end of it. We're going to be passing around the mics because obviously I'm not bringing this table yeah. with us. And, um, it'll uh, be the last night. So a bunch of guys have already left. It'll probably be four or five of us. And uh, it's going to be real talk. It's going to be, you know, just gonna be talking. BSing about fishing, sitting around, not a campfire, but a couch, uh, <laughs> just talking fishing. Eating. It's I, gonna think, be, I think food will be involved. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Food and drink will be involved. Drink, drink will be involved. Um, What else? We're just, I don't know. Just it's going to be cool. It's going to yeah, be fun. Yeah, going to chat. I uh, think. You're going to meet some of the other Charlotte guys. Unless that uh, unless there's some news that comes out for college series, it probably will be next Friday that it comes out. Right. Um, 
but obviously we'll see. Right. Um, and then, then yeah, then yeah, we'll see. Yeah, we'll for see those how it goes. for those of you guys that are in the high school or haven't fished college yet, you're gonna get insight of what goes down while we're all hanging around. Yeah. Uh, it's we're gonna talk about how our weekend went, um, what we got to look forward to with the tournament. Uh, for those of you guys that are in the college series, you're going to be able to relate to this episode, I think. I think you'll find it really funny. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you'll probably find it funny. It's not going to be cut and dry. It's going to be cut and dry. It's not gonna, There's going to be no structure to it. No we're order. Just talking. We yeah. might not even be talking. We might be talking about. We might be what talking is, trucks. What is your favorite food at like yeah. cookout or something? Yeah, it's going to be real. Uh, yeah. It's going to be a good time. Be random. Love um, it. Great idea. So, yeah. That's going to be that. We're excited to fish this weekend. Should be fall transition. Um, Starting. I don't yeah. know. It's 98 degrees today. So yeah. yeah. I, don't the know, night, I don't know. We're going to get a big cold fall, front this weekend. How much fall it is. Big cold front this weekend. Summer to fall transition is going to start. Probably already has started. All it takes is five degree drop. Starts getting on. Um, it should be good fishing. Yeah. Yeah. We've heard it's been good. There is a BFL Super Tournament there. Today tomorrow and saturday so we have that to fish around but i ain't too worried we're not too worried about catching big fish lake. we're gonna be throwing down five bucks a day for big, big fish. fish big fish that's gonna be fun oh uh, big fish bunch of trash talk it's gonna be a good time oh, I'm, um, I'm winning it every day hopefully that's some big spots too. hopefully some nice large mouth y'all are gonna contribute to my <laughs> funds i hope so i hope so i'm gonna catch the big ones but uh yeah it's uh Again, just a little bit of insight to, to what goes on in, in the college series. Kind of get away from home and do your own thing. We're going to, I don't know, just going to be fishing. Yeah. It's going to be a good time. Gonna fishing, good time. eating, sleeping, watching baseball. Fish, eat, watching drink baseball. coffee. My Yanks are in playoff Not contention, me. babe. It's ALDS. Got to be back every night by game time. Yeah, no, He's going to be screaming. Us Boston fans, people we're that, so happy people the baseball that season People that want to sleep at 10 o'clock aren't going to. I'm going to be yelling and screaming too bad. It's tough. It is tough. It is tough. I'll be watching hockey, so. Yeah. Uh, That's fine. It's going to be a good time. Top You'll water should play. Baseball. I'll be yelling bait, hockey. maybe. But, I mean, I don't know how much fish I'm going to do. going to be doing a lot of graphing, a lot of looking around. Um, Kind of a scope out weekend. All right, so. Big news of the week. Yeah. Or I guess technically last week. Last week, Last yeah. week, two hours after we recorded the last episode, Bassmaster Open schedule comes yep. out. Yep. Uh, just like we said, always seems to happen, uh, even though we've only been doing this for like a month and a half now. Ugh. It seems like whenever we record an episode, some big news drops. Something, something Literally happens. seconds later. Something happens. So, we got two divisions. We got yeah, the just Eastern, like this year. Central. There's mm-hmm. the Easterns, there's the Centrals. Um, I think it's the same price as this year, as last, yeah, as this year. Ah, uh, yeah, no price 1800 changes. for a boater and 475 for a non. Um, I think there's the, the sheet here has got listed some different kinds of ways to register. I don't know. I guess if you're a member of like the Bass Nation, the, if you're a life member, there's different there's ways different to days, sign up. Different days, different times. Yeah. Um, Excited. Uh, let's go over the Centrals first because I think we're going to be a little more excited about the Eastern. Yeah, yeah. So Central, first off, Louisville Lake. That's Texas. right in, it was right outside Dallas. Is it? It's kind of urban. Yeah, it's, uh, I don't think, I don't I don't know if any Bassmaster tournament's ever been there. I there mean, might I, have been. I guess it's like an okay time of year. It's kind of a weird because it's a Wednesday through Friday tournament, yep. which is kind of weird for me yeah I, I don't i don't get why they do that um it's louisville i've seen some stuff on it i think it's a pretty solid lake i know it's urban it's texas so you're gonna see some big ones um like i said i don't think bass has ever been there so it'll be interesting for sure i don't know if it's a huge fishery either so you get 200 boats they might they might crunch up a little bit in there yeah interesting pond. april april uh beginning of april april yeah. 8 through what 8 through 9, 9 through, through the 11th 11. yeah um, then that's a good time of year there, so yeah. they should catch them. Yeah, they'll catch them, so. for sure. Uh, Neely Henry Lakes next in Alabama, May 21st through the 23rd. That's on the Coosa. you see some big spots. That's yeah. going to be interesting. That's a known spotted bass lake now with I, some big ones. I ain't going to lie. I did not really do any much research for this. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm just I going off on the what's on my head. Is that, so is that it's anywhere Coosa near Smith? Lake. It's a, no, no, it's not near Smith. It's below. I think it might be below Smith, but like long way away. Long I could way be. Away. I could okay, be okay. so wrong about that. Um, I know it's above um, 
I can't think of the name. Maybe Logan Martin. I think it's right above okay, Logan okay, Martin. Okay. No, maybe you know what? It's right below Logan Martin. Then it's Neely Henry. Then I think it's Jordan Lake. I'm pretty sure that's how the Kusa chain goes. Okay. Somebody correct me on that. Um, but it's Kusa. It's big spots. It's Those a it's Alabama a, spots. Yeah, it's a river fishing kind of a place. Um, that'll be interesting. It's interesting. They went to Smith last year. They're going here this year. So. Kind of stick into that May spotted bass, spotted Alabama bass kind of deal. I guess. I mean, very, very similar ish lake. Somebody's going to tell me that I'm so wrong and they're not similar at all. But all right, third so tournament, uh, the Arkansas River, middle of June, Arkansas River. Yeah, they'll be in Oklahoma, Muskogee. Mus- that's a great name. Yeah, June 18th through the 20th, the Arkansas River. I don't know much about it. I, I honestly, don't I think it's kind of tough. Um, I think that kinda, I think that will be the tough tournament out of from what the four I, yeah, years. oh yeah. From what <laughs> I know, it's grass, it's hard cover, it's big time river fishing. Obviously, um, June could be a tougher time of the year to fish it. Uh, being a river system, I don't know how much of an offshore bite would play. June, you could have flooding. You could have a lot of flipping going on there. Um, yeah, I definitely that that's like a really interesting time to put it there because yeah. I feel like it's very susceptible to weather. They always have, yeah, <laughs> it is, it is. They always have these rant, these like river locations for the opens. I feel Red River, uh, Atchafalaya Basin, like all these like rivery, rivery places. Type deals. Yeah, you get these guys that come out of the swamps and their tin boats and run it. <laughs> that's what's gonna happen here. Tin boats gonna win this tournament. So, some random, yeah. And, and then the guy last that one can't afford to go into is the September 10th through the 12th, Sam Rayburn in Jasper, Texas. I'm sorry we don't have mo- more insight on these guys. This uh, Central Opens is distant. Yeah, we, <laughs> We're not familiar with the fisheries. I don't think you guys realize how far away we are. <laughs> they don't intrigue <laughs> us to the, the largest extent. Um, Sam Rayburn is like a 20-something hour drive I, for I us. I feel like so. that's a real weird time of year to fish that. Like I feel like that should be June. I don't know. I feel like that should be the June tournament. I, w- I would agree with that time. because, once again, I think that that, that Arkansas River one is very susceptible yeah. to the weather. And yeah. I don't think it's going to be as susceptible in September. Right, so. right. You'd think they'd be uh, I'd probably I'd probably switch that. I would. I I don't know. Sam Rayburn would definitely be better in June. You get that offshore bite at the very beginning of it. Yeah. Um, you're going to see big ones there. That's, that place can put out 35-pound bags. It's always top five in uh, yeah. lakes of the year. So that's the central opens. I mean, and not, not a ton to talk about, not a ton of insight on our part. Could have done more research, but it would be pretty fake because we don't know what we're talking about with it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what we can talk about and what I'm a little more excited to talk Places about. Places that we do know. The Eastern w- Open In fact, division. to be honest, uh, we know all four of these lakes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. So we got we got a lot more going on. We can we can talk more. Yeah, about this one, first so. is uh, January fifteenth through the seventeenth. That's a, that's a Wednesday Friday tournament. It's on Kissimmee Chain Lakes in Florida. Um, MLF was just Good there. Uh, I think there was another. Ter- I think the FLW Tour might have been there last year. Yeah, I think FLW I'm pretty was sure. Like, yeah. um, and it was good. It had a really good year from what we saw. Big ones, a lot of fish. That time of year is primo, pre-spawn, some of the spawn, fish shallow, fish offshore, and that big that, that dehydrilla. Um, fish are going to be caught in this tournament. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah absolutely. A lot of fish. And, Everybody um, should have five. I mean, it's a good time to be because that's just when you're starting to get in spawn. You're going to be able to, mm-hmm. like, like we talked about for the last episode when I was yeah. talking about. Harris Chain. Harris Chain. Or a couple similar, months ago. Similar fishing. Yeah. Uh, very similar. It's going to be offshore and inshore, so it's a little... A little bit of everything. Yeah. A lot of fish are going to be caught. Boom, y'all. There'll be some big ones, too. Oh, yeah. There'll oh, yeah. That's Florida, man. You're going to see some 10s, some 9s. I'd like to see, like, someone win with, like, a... Like a, a giant 20, bag. 28, 30-pound bag. Oh, you you can see more than that, for sure. For sure. Daily average, though? Oh, no, no, no. That, that's not going to happen. That's what I'm talking about. Daily yeah, no. average. What's, 20, what, ha- what happens in these tournaments, which is why I'm not the biggest fan of Florida fisheries... Is you have the guy that catches thirty two pounds one day, then catches ten and ten and wins it. Yeah, that doesn't intrigue me the most because three big bites and you won the tournament. That, I mean that that kind of takes away the allure of the five fish. You know, finding the better quality of fish overall, which is why I like northern lakes. Mm-hmm. Even though this isn't a northern lake, we're, but we're so on to it's next. a lake that. This is a primo time to be there. Yeah, May seventh through the 9th. Cherokee Lake. Yeah, 
Smallies. Yes. Flipping. Not flip only that, river, but it should mouth, be. Drop shot for smallmouth. So for you, those of you guys that don't know, Cherokee, they draw it down and then draw it back up through the month of April. Okay. And that should be just when it's getting back up to full pool. Flipping should And it usually gets really good around then. Yeah. Really good. Flipping will play. Them smallies will be roaming. Deep rock piles. Um, points. That's going to be like what? Like a little post spawn probably? Tail end of sp- post spawn. Post spawn. Yeah, 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 yeah. Down here. Um, largemouth, I think, are going to play in this tournament. Largemouth will definitely play. Like I said, that's the time. In there May, are a lot of people overlook the largemouth in, in Cherokee, but yeah. the largemouth there, there are some big ones in there. In May, big those fish, ones. those smallies are going to scatter. The water's going to be up. You're going to see guys up the river flipping that are that are going to place top 10, no doubt. No doubt. Yeah. And then uh, this one's closer to home, Oneida Lake. August 6th through the 8th. That's a great time of year to hit it. That's the best Probably time. Probably going to be when we're good at time the to College it, National Championship for bass. That's when it was this year, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, Oneida will be cool. Uh, those guys, I mean, they go there almost every year. Um, it's a great lake. It's a great summertime lake. Smallies, largemouth, both will play. Um, a lot of boat traffic. Yeah, a lot of boat traffic at time of year. A lot of boat traffic. Yeah. Um, but it'll be good. It'll be good. The guys look at it'll be better than this year because this year was September, a little tougher. Transition was going on. Um, August, it'll be pure summertime techniques. Um, those fish are going to be a little battered from being fished for all year, but it'll still be very good. You'll see some some 18, 19, 20 pound bags, I think. Um, and then last but not least, September like 24th Hart- through the 26th, well, Hartwell. We're going there this weekend. Literally a year. <laughs> A year from uh, just about a year from last week. From last weekend, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're going about it. Yeah, we're gonna be we're gonna be able to tell you almost exactly how it's gonna fish not, based not on really. this weekend. Yeah, uh, based on this year, I might go out there and fish it if this weekend goes well. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's gonna be a similar time of the year. Um, we're gonna see what goes on. I mean, it, it's gonna be very close to when we're going, so we're gonna kind of get an idea of how those guys should fish it next year. Obviously. You know, you get a longer summer or a yeah. shorter summer. It changes it'll everything. Change a bit. Oh, definitely, definitely. But um, Hartwell. But, yeah, fun. that's uh, out of the open schedule, in case any of you are curious. That is probably the only one I'd be interested in fishing, mm. uh, mainly because that's pretty much at the end of my college career. So mm. I guess the next step for me would be opens or BFLs or the yeah. Hawaiian State Bassmaster opens. Yeah. Um, so, I, yeah, that that one intrigues me. Yeah. Uh, I we'll got to see. I got a buddy who's thinking about fishing these. You guys actually talked with Trevor was on one of these uh, podcasts a couple of weeks back talking about the Potomac. Um, he's awesome on Oneida. He might, he might end up fishing that. Um, and he told me that if he fishes Oneida, he's got to fish all of them because he can't go and win it and not qualify for the classic. If those, for those who don't know, if you win an open, you qualify for the classic. If you fish the rest of the opens. So I hope he does. It'd be cool to follow. Yeah. Really cool. Um, I'm looking forward to see if he does it. So yeah. now, l- let me ask you a question. Ask me a question. How does our boy from the college bracket challenge do? Cody Huff. Cody Huff. So Cody Huff won the bracket challenge. He fishes the classic. He's given a boat for the year and, and truck. free entries into these opens, all of them, central and eastern. I would he, assume he's probably going to fish just easterns. I think he's. Oh, they, they fish both. Do they? Yeah, they fish both. I don't yeah. know if he's graduated or not. That's why I asked. So he can definitely he fish both. Off, so. I think he'll be fine. Some um, some guys I know like some guys only fish like the Easterns, but I do. He'll fish both for know sure. Before some people fish both. So. Yeah, yeah. He he's good enough. He's been to some of these places, I'm sure. Um, and I I, I bet I he'll can tell do you well. he's been to Cherokee. For I bet he'll do well. Sure. I I bet he'll do very well. In fact, I think he was in the top ten at Cherokee I'm last sure. time the college series was there. I'm sure. So, yeah, I think that's like, if he's going to win one, my money's on Cherokee. Yeah. Um, he could do very well at Hartwell, too. Um, he do well anywhere, man. Pretty All sure these he's been to Hartwell before, too. I think he's going to so. do very well. I'd be really interested. I mean, he could, he could qualify for the elites straight out of college just from this. So, yeah. that would be really cool. I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, like, what, I like we surprised. said in our in our little bracket challenge recap video a couple weeks back, we got a lot of great expectations for him. Yeah, I actually think this schedule plays into his hands. So, yep. we'll he see. Might, he might qualify for the leads. Like this will be right this will be cool. It'll be fun to watch him. Um, 
the cool thing about the opens is like a lot of times if you fish, you got ties to somebody who's fishing them, so you can kind of keep in touch. Um, it'll be really neat, really neat to see. So that's the opens, guys. That's the opens. So let's uh, just we just transition into the uh, the opens for this year are updates. over. It's just next year now. Yeah. There's not 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 too much going on in pro series. Uh, other no, than like we said, it's a pretty pretty. We, yeah, we're starting to close out the ceiling. It's, it's ceiling. This season, word. See, I'm hungry. If you didn't know, I'm going to get food after we finish recording this. Okay. I'll check his pulse, guys. See if he's all right. <laughs> uh, pro series update. A O Y championship. Bassmaster had their angler of the year championship this weekend, and it was a doozy. It was freaking awesome. Slug Lake Saint Clair, slug uh, fest. Seth Fighter won with seventy seven pounds. If you a watched fighter. any of that, it was so dang cool. Um, if you fished for largemouth with a crankbait, you've had a great time. If you'd fished for smallmouth with anything, you've had a great time. You fish for smallmouth with a crankbait. It's a better time. And you have the best of times. <laughs> it's the best of I mean, I can tell you right now, throwing he's throwing a, a like a DT ten, something that dives like twelve to fifteen feet. When they freaking hit that thing, man, it is like a train. A train. And, yeah. And and that's what he was doing. I mean, every cast, four pounders sitting on them points. They school up on St. Clair. That was awesome. It was uh, like every spot he pulled up to, he was catching fish after yep. fish after fish. Yep. Uh, he had him dialed in so good. Yep. So Canter good. Canterbury runs away. Not runs away. He pulled away with the AOI. It was close for a long time. I think he ended up winning by like eight points. Yeah, at one um, point he wasn't leading it. No, for a while he was. three. Yeah. He was not leading. Johnston, Corey Johnston, and Stetson Blaylock came in second with a tie, and Zaldane ended up in third tough um some really cool sportsmanship you saw if you were watching the end of the day on day three seth fighter finished off catching like 26 pounds and uh um, he knew he had it Corey was fishing next to him for a while and struggling and seth actually went over and gave him his crankbait and said good luck man go win this thing so that was really cool uh seth seth, seth was ran away with the tournament so he didn't care um really cool stuff to see him his northern buddy try and get yeah. Corey Johnson to win. Um and our man, we gotta give a shout out to Jake Whitaker. Jake. Jake was our cut man, snuck in. Yeah, he had my heart beating a little fast there for a little while. <laughs> he tied. He ended up with a tie, tie for the last for the last and class won spot. the tiebreaker, which is based on total weight for the season. Yeah. And so, uh, holy he won crap. It. Awesome stuff. That was great to wow. see. Wow. <laughs> Jake sneaks in. Uh, what a great tournament! I mean, I'd love to go to St. Clair. It was on my my college oh, wish did list. Did you see last how year. rough it was on the first day, though? That's that's, that's the brutal. Thing. I, hey, fine with me. I'll stay in the river. You see, Brandon Lester spent the whole tournament fishing in the, the river. river, whole tournament, and was catching them just as good. I think he had a top ten. So you can catch them in a the river just as good, the St. Clair River, Detroit River. Um, good fishing in there. I actually think it was one in there. Some years back, um, when the elites were there, maybe like 2012. I don't, I don't remember. I don't remember, but I think it was one in the river that tournament. Um, cool stuff, man. I'd love to go to St. Clair. Big giant brown ones. Um, actually, our buddy Chris went there. Yes. I think in the spawn and said it was stupid, or maybe he was fishing docks or something. I don't know. He said it was a lot of fun. Um, so St. Clair is on my list. But yeah, that, that wraps up the Bass Master. Elite Series events for the year. Yep. The top 42 are set for the Classic. The rest will be decided by college, opens, team tournament, and nation. And they don't get back at it until the end of January, St. John's yep. River. So Saint, I think it goes St. John's and then... Then the Classic. No. No. No, there's one more. St. John's... Maybe we should talk about the Elite Series schedule. Go Maga? We'll do we'll do a elite series schedule. Didn't we do an elite series point. schedule? No, I don't think so. We'll have to listen back. No, we'll have have to to check listen, the tape. Listen back to my own podcast. We might not have done the elite series schedule. I don't think we did. Tough. Uh, <laughs> we'll work on that. We're gonna work on that. <laughs> um, no, I yeah. know for certain we haven't done an FLW one, which is what we're talking about next. But I know for certain we haven't talked about the FLW right series and where they're going next year. So right, we'll do that too. Maybe future episodes. Breaking news: James Paxton is starting Game One for the Yankees. 
I can't tell you how much I don't care. I am so excited. Anyways, the FLW side of things, there are two coasters to talk about. The California Delta, I didn't pay much attention to this. We know that Blake Dyer won with 62.13 for three days. You should That's have. They caught 20 like, and change. like four fish over like nine pounds or something for the first day. This is insane. It's like much, rock. Much more tuned into the AOI championship. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, no, I doubt it was way before that. I think Blake Dyer right. led all three days. I think so. Yeah. I think he led all three days. I think he broke out with like 28, backed up with 22. Yeah, he had like and a had nine whatever he or had on day three. <laughs> I think he's a local guy. Yeah. Because I remember reading about it and um, he, was, he was talking about fishing some local spots. So. Cali Delta is a local, local lake. Mm-hmm. You see guys like Ish guys and local. Skeet go and win that thing. So, uh, starting today is a Grand Lake Costa. It's probably yeah. not going to be that great. The Bassmaster Open was just there, and it was okay. And uh, I think they still were catching tail end of summer. And now we're gonna now it's transition time. It's probably going to be funky. Um, that's Grand Lake. I think uh, for our sake, I think that MLF. FLW and Bash should meet once a year and plan to not go to the same places just because I want to see different places. Yeah. <laughs> That's a cool. That'd be cool. Um, that would definitely be cool. It'd be tough, but it'd be cruel. Oh, that cool. would never happen, too. Absolutely that never happen. Would never happen. No. There's too many places that they all want to hit. Yeah. St. Yeah. Lawrence is always going to get overlapped by a coast and an elite. Oh, I don't care about the lower series. Oh. I think the top series. Like, I would like to see them go different places. Yeah, that would be cool. Did No, FLW never went to Chickamauga this year, right? I don't, I don't so. know. I don't think so. Well, uh, no, they definitely always end up MLF at the same place. There. Twice. Bassmaster Opens went there. Um, college college went series there. went there for the national championship. I don't I know that FLW Chickamauga went. a poor break. Like, Jesus. Well, I think that's the. Se- I'm pretty sure that's. The, I think that's the second Elite Series tournament too. I'm relatively certain it is. I just want to see some worlds. Yeah, I mean, send the Wilson. I want to see Wilson. The, I don't know. Wilson's got big brown ones. I think it's a smaller lake. I'd like to see someone go back to Wheeler. Hmm. Yuvala. <laughs> <laughs> that's. I don't know. I'm starting to yell now. We need food, folks. Um, so yeah, that's uh. I mean, there's really, like I said, we're kind of we're wrapping up the, the, the yeah fishing shorter season. episode. Um, uh, the fishing season's coming to a close. We got to get some episodes going where we're talking about topics, like yeah, we're yeah, talking right. about the MLF versus five fish limit. We'll talk about uh, the college series whenever it comes out. Um, we'll talk about how this past weekend went. <sighs> Like we said before, we'll, we're, we're gonna we gotta have some interviews on. We're um, gonna have interviews. Reach uh, out to us. We got some cool stuff coming up with the high school. We got some high school, yeah, North um, Carolina stuff. We could talk about some high school stuff. Yeah, we're gonna have some high school. At least uh, I know that we're gonna at least have the director on for the NC High School series. I don't eventually. I don't know if we'll get high school students on here. But we can. I would love to. I, so. I got a few guys I could reach out to. Yeah, if they're, they're NC High School students that we know from Riley's Catch uh, yep. feel free to reach out to us we, we've we been talking about maybe doing we a high school have that guy series. on I can at least forget his name what's his name what director of the Rob Riley's Catch Tom is it Tom yeah. Tom yeah we could have Tom well, on. Have that'd Xander. be cool it'd be cool to have him on what'd you say I think we just thinking Xander yeah no we could have both we could, on we could uh, throw it back some, that'd be really cool we get UNC Xander and Charlotte on talk about Riley's Catch and the high school tournaments cool but, stuff I mean, that's a short episode this that's week. That's our cute episode. Um, let us know it. how you think Cody's going to do yep. in the opens. Cause Give us feedback. Yeah, you college guys. Review you, you us. Know, you know, tell us we're terrible. Tell us we're not terrible. Mostly tell us we're terrible. Send us Andrew. questions. Send us questions. Yeah, we need, we need questions. We need please, more questions. Please, if you listen to this podcast. Please send the questions. This, we know you. some of you listen to this. And if you do, leave a question. We'd appreciate it. We'll be back to you. I can see the the numbers. I know people are listening. Right, we're on. To Send you. in we know where questions. You live. We'll find you. We'll hunt you down, and we'll break your odds and make you ask us a question like, "Why did you break my odds?" Right. <laughs> we'll be back to you on Monday. Tight lines. Fast talk. Real talk. 
and uh, Catch you Monday. Up, guys. Have a great weekend. Monday. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna record on Monday. It'll be out Friday. Oh, yeah, I was gonna say we're, we're gonna be talking to you on Monday. You're just not gonna hear us. On that confusing Friday. note, have a great weekend. Have a great weekend, tight lines, guys.